Okay, in the last lecture, uh, I have discussed about uh, Bowley multiplier. So, we have discussed the algorithm of Bowley multiplier. So, today we will discuss about the architecture of uh, Bowley multiplier. B W stands for Bowley. So, basically we can implement this uh, Bowley multiplier using half and fully adders. Okay. You can see the algorithm which you have discussed in the last lecture. So, this was the algorithm that we have developed in the last lecture. So, basically this A 0 B 0 we require end gate. So, A 1 B 0 plus A 0 B 1 to add this we require half adder. Now, at this stage we have already 3 bits and then carry from this total 4 bits I have to add. So, we require one full adder and one half adder. Okay. Similarly, here also. So, all this addition of each column can be performed by using full adders and half adders. Okay. So, we are going to uh, draw the architecture of this one. So, we require total 8 half adders and 7 full adders. This is the optimum design, the optimum design requires 8 half adders and 7 full adders. Okay. So, we can have the other combinations also. Okay. So, initially A 0 B 0 can be generated by using the AND gate basically. A 0 B 0 is generated by using yeah, AND gate. This is directly over P 0, whose inputs are A 0 B 0. You can see here A 0 B 0 is directly P 0, because here there are now bits. So, through AND gate we can generate P 0. So, to generate P 1 we require a half adder whose inputs are a 1 b 0, a 0 b 1. This is in half adder a 0 b 1, a 1 b 0. Of course, this product terms can be generated by using AND gate again. So, for half adder we have two inputs and two outputs. Okay. The outputs are sum and carry. So, the sum bit of this one will act as sum and carry and carry bit we are going to add in the subsequent stage. So, here whatever the sum bit that we are going to get is P 1 carry bit we are going to propagate to the next stage. Okay. So, in the next stage again to perform the first two, two we require the half adder then along with this sum of this one there is a carry from here on this bit total I have to add 5 bits here. Okay. Initially I will add these two bits using one half adder. So, you will get sum along with that sum carry will be propagated here. So, along with the sum bit of these two product terms plus this plus carry from this one. So, totally I have to add 5 bits these two bits along with that carry a 0 b 2 and carry of this summation. So, I require one full adder and half adder to get the p 2. Okay. So, another half adder here then we require one more full adder. So, what are the inputs of this half and full adders? This half adder is first I want to add a 0 b 2 a 1 b 1 a 0 b 2 a 1 b 1. So, we will get some sum, sum value as well as carry. This is sum of this one, this is carry of this half adder and this sum bit is there carry bit we are going to generate apply to this full adder. So, 
So, what about the third bit? Third bit will be a 0 b 2 ok. We are performing this addition using half adder along with the sum bit of this half adder, this bit and the carry from the previous stage we are going to apply to the full adder. So, this bit is nothing but a 0 b 2. So, the sum bit of this one is your p 2 and carry bit you have to propagate to next stage. So, like that if you proceed this, so this will be another half adder here. So, the inputs are a 3 b 0 bar a 2 b 1. A 3 B 0 bar A 2 B 1. Then we will be having one more fully adder here, another fully adder here. So, we can explain the operation in a similar manner. I will draw the final architecture. Here this is another fully adder, another fully adder. So, here this sum bit is applied to the full adder this one and carry bit is applied here. Okay. There will be again 3 full adders. So, this sum bit is applied carry bit and the sum bit of this one carry bit is applied here, some bit is applied here, this is having some symmetrical structure. The other signals I will fill from the table. Now, here half headers are enough. This is fully adder again, because we have a one extra term one. Then we require two half adders and another half adder here. So, this I will give instead of here, I will show the other side. So, this is P0, this is P1, this is P2 and here we will generate P 3, here we will generate P 4, P 5 and here we will generate both the bits P 6 and P 7, total 8 bit result. This is 8 bit result. Now, coming back to the connections here, this is having similar structure. So, I have used all these terms up to this term is over, these two terms are over, these two terms are over, these two terms are over. So, in the other we have a 0 b 2, a 1 b 2, a 2 b 2. So, a 0 b 2, a 1 b 2, a 0 b 2 is over, here a 1 b 2 is required. Then we have 
a 2 b 2. But this require another input this is fully adder. So, a 2 b 2 then a 3 b 1 bar. Similarly, in the next row, so I have covered this also, this also, this also. So these are left. Next row, we have a zero b three bar, a one b three bar, a three b three bar. So here we have full adder. This is a zero b three bar, and this is having another input a one b three bar. This is a two b three bar. and this is a 2 b 3 bar is over a 3 b 2 bar. A 0 B 3 A 1 B 3 A 2 B 3 A 3 B 2 bar. So here this half adder requires a 3 b 3. This is the complete architecture of a 4 by 4 Bowley multiplier. Okay. So whatever the table that we have here, this table I have mapped onto the architecture using minimum number of uh, fully adders and half adders. Okay. So you can see uh, different types of uh, these mappings. Okay. Among all the mappings. This is the optimized mapping. Okay. So, totally we have uh, 8 half adders and uh, 7 full adders. You can easily analyze this. So, total 7 8 bit multiplication output is there. So, this actually these are not used, these are extra bits. Now, in order to write the Verilog code, so we have to first write half adder code and then full adder code, then you have to instantiate the half adder code 8 times full adder code 7 times to get the Bowley multiplication. Okay. So, we require some wires like here this is wire we require a wire w1. So, this is also w2, w3, w4, w5, w6, w7, w8, W9, W10, W11, W12, W13, W14, W15, W16, W17, W18, W19, W20, W21. Of course, these two are not used, so no need of definition of these wires. So, totally we require 21 wires. Okay. So, you can see now the Verilog code. So, this is the Verilog code corresponding to Bowley multiplier. So, basically we are going to construct this Bowley multiplier using half adders and full adders. This is the code for half adder. So, we have taken x, y as inputs, sum and carry out, see out are the outputs. So, sum is x x 2 your y x 2 your c in and uh, carry is x y plus y z plus z x. Okay. So, this is module for half adder, this is the module for full adder. Here also we have x y c in s c out. This is the order in which we have to take while instantiating. 
the inputs, outputs and carry some and out. So, you have to take this uh, sequence in the same order. So, this is well understood, this we have already explained. Okay. Now, coming to this main program of this Bowley multiplier. So, basically we have two inputs A, B, output is P, we have P0 to P7 and A and B are 4 bit numbers. So, A and B are 4 bit numbers, output P is 8 bit number P0 to P7 and we require total 21 wires are enough, actually here I have taken 23 wires because this also I have taken as wires. If I take this as O, W, so if I take in the same order, if I take this as W20, this is the order that I have followed in the program. 20, this is 21, W21, W22, and this is W23. That is why you have taken total 23 wires. So, initially A0, B0 is P0. So, this LSB bit of this P can be obtained through this end operation. Then we have three half adders. So, I have written the order in the same manner. In the first row, we have three half adders, then we have three full adders, then we have three full adders, then two half adders, one full adder, then we have two half adders, then we have one half adder. So, I have written in the same manner. So, the first uh, three sentences we have written for three half adders. This is this three half adder will implement these three half adders. Similarly, these three full adders will implement this full adders. Similarly, so this three full adders will implement this full adders. Similarly, we have half adder, half adder, full adder, this one, then two half adders, then one half adder, so in the same order. So, you can easily see that for the first half adder, the inputs are A1, B0, A0, B1, a1, B0, A0, B1, the outputs are some bit is the P1 itself, another is Y, W1. So, this Y, W1, P1. So, this is the order that I am following. This first bit represents some bit and this is carry bit. So, the some bit of this half adder is P1 and carry bit is Y. So, some bit is P1, carry bit is Y, W1. Okay. So, similarly, I have written for the other half adders and full adders also. This half adder will be having A0, B2, A1, B0, A0, B2, A1, B0. The second half adder will be having inputs are A1, B0, A0, B2. This is A1, B0, A0, B2. Sorry, this is a mistake. And the third one is having A3, B0. A2 B1 and A3 B0 bar. This is A3 B0 bar, A2 B1. A2 B1. Okay. So, similarly, you can verify this. So, this is the complete, uh, I mean, uh, code for the Bowley multiplier. Okay. So, our final uh, goal is uh, to implement a IR filter using Bowley multiplier because using unsigned multiplier we implemented a three tap FR filter, but to implement IR filter I am using a signed multiplier because in most of the applications uh, we have to deal with uh, signed data. Okay? So, data can be negative also. So, here I am going to implement a IR filter. So, this is the code for IR filter. So, we have written this IAR filter code by instantiating uh, the Bowley multiplier. So, here I have taken a basic IAR filter as infinite impulse response filter is simply y of n is equal to a into y of n minus 1 plus x of n. So, this consisting of one a multiplier, one a adder. Okay? This is recursive because the output not only depends upon the present input, but also on the previous output. Whereas, in case of IAR system, the output only depends upon the present and past inputs without regard to the previous outputs. So, if we take this block diagram of this IAR filter, this is x of n, 
and this is by of n there will be a loop the difference between the fir and ir filter is in case of fir filter open loop system fir filter is open loop system ir filter is closed loop system this is a multiplier this is a delay so this y of n becomes y of n minus 1 after delay here we are going to multiply with a this will be applied as a second input for the end gate this will be a into y of n minus 1 plus x of n this will be output y of n so here basically this multiplication we are going to implement by using bowley multiplier so this is basically adder okay. so here this is the module for ir filter which implements this equation so we have clock reset a x y this a is one input x is another input y is the output so inputs are clock reset so two inputs are a is a 3 bit number x is also another 3 bit number and output can be 3 bits or it can be if I multiply 2 4 bit numbers uh, we will get uh, 8 bit uh, result so a is here 4 bit number x is 4 bit number y is also 4 bit number here are taking if you want you can take uh, 8 bit result output y also ok then we are taking because this y is 4 bit this y variable also we are taking as 4 bit okay. so this is to store the intermediate values then I am defining a vector wire with 8 bits I am calling this as a bar product actual this will give the multiplier product okay. then I have instantiated the bar multiplier which you have discussed in the earlier slide so this multiplier bar multiplier okay. a b p so bar multiplier a b p so a to a b to b nothing but y variable because i want a into y n minus 1 so in bar multiplier we have taken a into b is equal to p but here i want a into in place of b i want y so b i have connected to y so p to bar product actual this i have defined here so i am going to store this bar product actual to the p so that p this we are calling as p this p how to add to x to get the final output y ok so always set positive edge of clock reset or x or a begin if reset is equal to begin so initial value i will start with x of n because initially i do not know so if i assume that this system is causal if i want to find out y of 1 what is this a into y of 0 plus x of 0 sorry y of 0 if you want to find out this is y of minus 1 so y of minus 1 normally will assume that 0 because this system I am assuming as causal so if y of minus 1 is 0 what is y of 0 simply x of 0 that is why the initial value when reset is there this y variable we are going to take to x because y of minus 1 becomes 0 then otherwise y variable is equal to x the previous value of this x plus this product which is equal to a into y of n minus 1 we are calling as p and then end so finally this y variable will be assigned to the y so this is how we can implement this ir filter using bowley multiplier ok then if you take the test uh, bench waveforms this is test bench so this similar program but we have given the time delays okay. so here sometimes you can use this if you want to display this values y or a or b okay. so there are some keywords like display if you write like display hello world so hello world will be displayed the output of this one will be 
hello world will be displayed on the screen. If you do not write this, normally you will get waveforms. Okay. If you want to display the values, you can is display by using this keyword, display keyword. So, if you want to display time. So, this will display the current simulation time. Okay. So, if you want to display some numerical values, say for example, display a, b, c are the three variables, comma, percentage of d, comma, percentage of b percentage of h. So, this represents that a is represented in decimal, d stands for decimal, b stands for binary, h stands for hexadecimal. You can have octal, okay. you can use either uh, lower case letters or upper case letters. Okay. This is you can display also, there is another keyword called monitor. Monitor is also similar to display, but here in case of monitor, all the parameters which are inside this monitor will be continuously accessed. If any one of these variable changes, then the corresponding values will be displayed on the screen. So, this is the test bench correspond to IR filter and these are the waveforms. So, you can easily see that initial value of this uh, y is x itself 1. Okay. So, here basically we have this y of n is equal to a into y of n minus 1 plus x of n. So, initially y 0 is x 0 which you have set to 1 here. Then we have taken this x is permanently we have connected to 1, x permanently connected to 1. So, initial value is 1 and then a is given as 2, a is given as 2. So, what is y 1? So, the previous value of this one is 1, 2 into 1 plus x is permanently 1, 3. That is why the value is 3 here. So, in the second iteration, this one will be the input, y 2 will be equal to, this a is permanently 2, a is permanently 2 into this previous value is 3 plus x is permanently 1. 7. So, like that we will proceed and then, so these are the output y values. So, we will get values as 1, 3, 7, the next value if you want y 3 it will be 7 into a is 2 only plus 1 is 15. Okay. So, like that we will proceed, next value here will be 15 we will get somewhere. So, you sorry about this. Uh, uh, the waveforms corresponding to the IR filter. Okay. So, with this I will uh, complete the course. Okay. So, while writing this very law codes, I might have committed some uh, silly mistakes okay, that uh, you correct yourself because actually I normally prefer to write the very law codes instead of using the entire code in the slide. Okay. So, in the initial lectures, I have written the codes. So, while writing the codes, I might have committed some mistakes because here no students are there to point out those uh, mistakes. Okay, I request you to correct uh, those mistakes yourself. And for complex problems, anyhow, I have used these slides. Okay. So, normally I believe that uh, so explaining the code while writing will make better understanding of the audience. Okay. So, and if any other mistakes is there, you can uh, send the mail or you can uh, inform through the discussion forum. Okay. Thank you.